Not even your desk. That computer. No, pretty sure it's my desk. actually wrote down some key points so I can stay on track. So this is a quick review of owning a Chevy Sonic. My experience with the car lasted about a year and a half, totaling about 60,000 miles. Uh, it was a little mixed and cut short due to issues specific to my car. GM ended up actually buying it back. Uh, so that was, a, you know, its own headache. However, it was one bad apple and shouldn't represent all sonics plus aside from that issue the car overall was a great car and to this day my favorite car that that i've owned um not driven but that i've owned uh, so so down to the nitty-gritty real life mpg was about 30 to 45 miles per gallon my top speed was 117 miles per uh, miles per hour I know, Emma, cost of ownership pretty. was really cheap uh, an example would be oil changes 65 uh, a set of tires were like 300 and 300 dollars um, the interior was basic that like, was weak, like Michael Kors kind of basic Super weak. nothing worth mentioning except the seats are very comfortable uh, you can travel long distances and even sleep in the car because if you recline it, it, it almost, it's, it's kind of shy of flat. And so that's really cool. Leo, get them both. The motorcycle looking tack was super cool, especially because I'm a motorcycle kind of guy. Uh, so that was really cool to look at. <laughs> it had everything like a car should have from Bluetooth, Sirius XM radio. Uh, and you know, it was uh, compatible with all the devices. Um, the car is far from fast but it, it always made me happy, like, you know, it's, it was kind of cute, like, kind of like a rice rocket, but without the party noise. <laughs> and, uh, uh, as always, to each is his own, the, you know, as far as the looks go, it's not, it's not going to stand out too much. Uh, and I thought it was fair looking, it wasn't the greatest looking car, but, you know, that's, that's more of my opinion. Uh, you know, I enjoyed the car, but it did have flaws, and so, uh, you know, flaws would be like, uh, steep hill climbs suck. Uh, you know, it's small motor <laughs> engine. It's not the prettiest looking car, to me, at least. Uh, the lack of, the lack, it's not lacking. The, the back window is huge, and I feel like it should have been a little bit shorter, uh, or smaller. And uh, I feel like there should be more. Oh, I, I guess not. Looks, uh, look, the car is cheap, but I think that really worked in its favor. It has so many things uh, from remote start to fog lights, uh, alloy wheels, and, you know, other things that I mentioned, plus more. Um, it drove like a champ. I put it through so much shit, like snow. Uh, gravel, dirt, and my favorite mud. It's, you know, any car that I'm, I own, it's gonna go through mud. And I, and I never worried about breaking it because it was cheap. And so, yeah, all in all, if you're thinking of purchasing a Sonic, one, I hope this helps. Two, it's a great buy. Uh, just make sure you get the 1.4 liter turbo because it's a lot more peppy, so it's more You'll enjoy it more, at least in driving, uh, for driving purposes. Uh, and a tip, uh, during winter, turn up your heater before you call it a night. So uh, when you uh, get up in the morning, you can remote start the car and it'll heat up the car. So when you go out, it'll be nice and warm and vice versa when it's summer and it's hot.